Hello, welcome to this presentation. Today, I'm going to take you through the usage of Organizer in Tecla Structure. Organizer is a daily tool for managing model information, object priority queries, and object classification. Using Organizer, you can access all model information in one place and uh, you will be in a position uh, to manage your model information effectively this that is very very important like the model i've done here organizer on the other hand it's very very efficient tool at any stage in the construction and design process for designers detailers managers estimators the list doesn't end contractors and anybody using the model information please kindly welcome to this presentation i'm your presenter maurice dimba and we'll use this model that we used before when uh, try when describing on the usage of face manager we'll use the same same model to to show you or to demonstrate on how to use the organizer now Having opened the um, the model, this one here, I'll go straight to manage. Under manage, I'll go straight. And uh, another thing, you'll find that un under manage, the previous demo, uh, uh, presentation, I was accessing uh, face manager under drawings and report. It's also possible you can access that face manager or organizer or check clash and uh, organizer on the next presentation also we'll check we'll talk about how to check do a, a clash check on uh, a model like this now for now let's go straight to organizer i'll just go to organizer and click that and wait for that dialog box to come up and start working on on it straight away Let's just give it time to, to load. Actually, it's loading. Let's wait for it to load properly. Then uh, we kick start. There we are. It has loaded and uh, the dialog box is coming for us to get the instructions that will take us forward and you'll be able to get the right information after this lesson. Now, this is the, the dialog box I was talking about. The dialog box of uh, organizer. And the organizer, it's still loading. And uh, when uh, prompted with this dialog box, what you do, just cancel it out, don't synchronize. What you do now under organizer, we have the, uh, ob the object br browser, which I talked which i talked about previously and the uh, some uh, various categories here now under under browser we have cut various categories of the model the bolts we have bolts uh, cast unit list cold rolled com uh, column list component list default you can use the the system default or system default one drawings from the model embedded list all these are the categories that you can categorize your drawing and the outcome will be much useful for you and be able to manage your model properly now today i want just to demonstrate to you on how to maneuver your way in the usage of organizer now we'll go straight to to organizer but prior to effecting any or picking any category here, we have to pick which category we intend to work on. And please note that uh, we are going a step after the after you uh, demonstrating how to use the face manager. Now we are going to organizer, and this work hand in hand, face manager and organizer you have to note that now previously on this model i i emphasized on the usage of the face manager now to select 
now like at the moment i want to pick on the rafters and uh get some information from the rafters then i'll go to columns then i'll go to uh, tie beams like that now from here i'll go to face manager then i'll come to rafter bracings i'll come to rafter beams rafter beams there and I'll, I'll highlight the rafter beams there by clicking on objects by faces and wait for that and wait for the result to come up i mean when the rafter beams are highlighted under face manager then that will assist us in now retrieving the information in the organizer i'll go now i'll go back here since we minimized that now under organizer this is the information we'll get assembly list for that for the rafter beams we can go either to part of erection select erection and we'll be able to see and uh, the, the mark numbers are in place but that one you can run is not that a challenging issue now this under erection column marks and that we can also go to to weld list and remember this we want to export this to the excel and this is printable and you can share with the concerned parties we can also come here and click on that and combine the identical rows under that button combine identical rows that have been combined you can also come to you can also come to let me go to assembly list and combine and combine the the identical rows perfect that is the assembly list mark numbers and that now there's one thing i want to show you for now i'll minimize this and i want to do the numbering first i'll come to drawings and uh, and reports i'll come to numbering or i'll just go straight to perform numbering number the select number the selected objects number series uh, number series of selected objects i'll go straight and click number i'll number that generate numbering for the selected let's wait for the result might take a little time and after being we are trying to get we are trying to generate numbers for the rafter beams so that our perfectly done now if we go back to if we go back to to assembly list and try to show this let's try column list it's loading let's wait for it to load properly
this is the column list position m10 m10 how many uh, that's the length and the total length of all these beams is 1.2 million millimeters or 1.2 million nine eight plus those thousands this is the total length let's uh, classify uh, let's combine the identical rows and wait let's wait for the result there there we are m9 m8 quantity one one perfect now we go to we go back where we were we go to assembly list we go to assembly list this assembly list for the this assembly list for the selected components now from here i want to export this to X, X, excel sheet i'll go straight to this button here i'll click on that then scroll down to export from export there's some information here update object uh, from the model export without header export only the summary row update object properties from the from the model i'll go straight and click export and remember when i click export it, it the, the moment it gets to excel it will open the excel automatically and you will be able to get the information there we are it has been exported exported to excel sheet there we are we are it, it's being it, it has been exported to excel sheet and you can see here the exportation to excel sheet is in progress and it will open automatically let's wait for the result Our Excel sheet will open automatic once the exportation is done. There we are. We can click on that and uh, we come to Excel sheet here. This is Excel sheet of what of the rafter beam. All the objects in the table are one. Uh, one one thousand two hundred eighty. This is a total length. From here now you can feed your company logo and uh, change all these information, all this, and uh, you can share with the the concerned departments or parties. I can minimize this and I'll be able to find myself in the tackle structures. Can take that. And uh, from there I'll wind up having got the uh uh a way on how to do bits of organize of using the organizer in tackle structures 
let's meet on the next presentation i'll uh, expound further on the usage of using the organizer integral structures thanks a lot for watching this video i'm Maurice dimba and uh, don't forget to subscribe let's meet on the next presentation and bye bye